Let's kick it, guys. I'm honestly really excited about this because Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. And I kept saying, yo, I can't wait. Like, I don't really like Spider-Man's like ability on this game. Like, I'm I'm not that not that big a fan of it. I do like him as a car because I love Spider-Man. But I was like, I want some more stuff for Spider-Man to be doing on it. The only thing they can do with that is add a different. It's like they're adding variants, but not adding in the cards. So Let's let's go ahead and check this out cuz I am ready. Okay, I like it. I like the art style definitely. Definitely a a Miles Morales is kind of a art style. Speed I haven't seen the movie yet, so I really think I'm going to enjoy this. Okay. Got the swag. Okay. Spider Verse. We got Miles Morales, Variants, Ghost Spider, Silk. Okay, got the Avatars too. I'm not that excited about those. You know I don't rock those. I do love the comic book aspect of things though. Hey everybody, it's Ben Brode and wow do I have a scoop for you. My sources tell <laughs> me a scoop. new season of Marvel Snap is upon us. And it's called Spider. I love Ben Bro. No need to bury the lead here. This month's season pass card is Ghost. He's Spider. just so Moves wholesome. The last card you played. Okay, wait. Web yank your cards across the Oh, they they have the whole bi bio like on the shit. That's like pretty cool. And Vulture or rescue cards lost in yeah. losing position on locations like the kill or the Yeah, that's pretty cool. She can even move cards to the right. Breaking news. This just in. I've been given exclusive intel of new variants becoming available during Spider Versus. Miles Morales. Spider Man. And you won't see this exclusive in those other rags. It's Ghost Spider 2099. <laughs> and that's not all. Make sure to clip. He does have awesome energy. When they launch. Venom. Venomized Ghost Spider. I just want to be his friend. <laughs> Another Ghost Spider. <laughs> Electro. Venomized that electro silk. looks dope. Wait a minute. Silk? Extra, extra. Read all about it. Hot off the presses. Silk is just one of several new cards that you won't want to miss this season. Silk yeah, has silk the is most gonna be crazy. Tuned spider sense of anyone who has spider powers. Her ability is that after any card is played where she is, she moves to another location. With huh. great power comes great mobility. Silk that's across that's gonna be really turn crazy. Turn. She can swing into Kun Lun for plus two power. Over yeah, over. if you get plus it on the same, if you, I like mean, I'm just saying. Forum, but otherwise <laughs> tricky to access. There's a bunch of other great cards launching this season, including Spider-Man 2099, also known as Miguel O'Hara. He's an alternate Spider-Man from the future who's here to tear fools up. The first time he moves to a location, <laughs> you'll destroy an enemy card there. This card might be the most dangerous. It's only, only the first time, though. Use Iron Fist to spring a surprise attack, or drop Ghost Spider after 2099 to fire a targeted web blast at your opponent's toughest card. Yeah, it's only the first Just time, the though. Of his attack might be enough to snap your enemy into a retreat. He's also a great counter. To Magneto. Oh, that! Oh, I didn't even think about that. Originally a spider named Peter, he turned into a pig after being bitten by an Iranian <laughs> pig. Now he transforms the highest cost card in your opponent's hand. Oh, the spider ham is gonna be ridiculous too, man. Power and cost. This can you imagine? Card can swing way above its weight class. People Smack your opponent's highest cost card running infinite into an anthropomorphic pig, minus the superpowers. He's a great tool against Apocalypse, Doctor Doom, and Galactus, turning them into useless strips of. Not against um, Infinite. So great against, against Infinite. <laughs> and this isn't gotcha journalism. We print the truth. Yeah. Cold hard facts, and we have confirmation that two new locations will be added to Marvel Snap this season. So get those decks ready. Okay, what are these? Aunt Maze. Aunt Maze. The first card you play the here gets plus three power and moves. Plus three power. And moves. That first card probably won't be home by curfew. The Great Web. After each turn, move one card here for a random player. Could be a different player each hmm. turn. Or not. Interesting. 
Word on the street is that we're getting two new features for Marvel Snap. Weekend missions and a daily offer reward system. Both of which are new ways to get tokens that you can use for new cards. Great. And this was off the record. So they're trying to work on card acquisition. Direct to series four cards that you won't want to miss. Nice. My source says more changes are on the way, but they're not quite ready to share just yet. It's almost time to conclude our expose, but first, an exclusive interview with one of the developers of Marvel Snap, Ben Broad from Earth 1218. What? How you been, Ben? Oh, Ben good. How you been, Ben? Ben good. Thanks for asking. Can you tell our readers about <laughs> Conquest Mode? It's so stupid. Oh, man. Conquest Mode is a brand new... Oh, yeah, new I'm excited for Conquest ultra Mode. competitive mode in Marvel Snap. We've already released the ability to battle against friends, where you each play a series of games till one player deals 10 damage to the other. But yeah. in Conquest, you'll be playing battles against online opponents for exciting awesome. new prizes. Tell us about the difficulty levels. <laughs> you start in the proving grounds. He is basically the big kid. If you can win a single battle, you'll be rewarded with a ticket to the Silver Conquest. If you win two in a row in the Silver Conquest, you'll earn a ticket to the Gold Conquest. And if you win three games in the Gold Conquest, then you'll earn a ticket to the Infinity Conquest, which is only available during the final week of the season. What? What do you get for winning the Infinity Conquest? Well, for each conquest you dreams. win, you'll earn medals that you can spend in the conquest shop. Oh! But if you can win the Infinity Conquest, you'll upgrade the avatar you used to an Infinity Border avatar. The Infinity Conquest is not for the faint of heart. This is what the best players have been saving their tickets for all month. Hmm. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing. That's going to be interesting. Thank you so much for reading. I mean, I don't mind the upgrade for the avatar. I want to get an Umbaku infinite. Inside scoop that's, on what we're doing. that's what I want. Until next time, stay standing. Yo. Well, I guess that's the scoop for now. Watch out for next month's edition where we cover more Marvel Snap. Yo, that I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I think this is gonna be like high evolutionary was cool, but I feel like this is gonna be way, way, way more fun. I feel like we're not going to have a big bad car coming that people are just going to be like, everyone's going to be using, you know? Um, and I, I think that a lot of people like Spider-Man. So a lot of people are going to be getting this car just because they want to play with it. You know what I mean? And I don't mind upgrading my avatar. If I get to, if I get through conquest mode, that's why I've been pushing so hard this, this, um, this season to get to infinite because I'm going to be trying to focus on conquest mode next next season i don't want to have to focus on both of them so i'm excited i i'm hoping i can get all the cars when they come out because i love spider-man i don't know if i need to have spider ham and i'm gonna have to build a deck for spider ham that, that's gonna be crazy though 